All right, guys, in this video, we'll be discussing Forex and crypto trading tips number eight. All right, choose trades that move along with the dominant market pattern, although up uh, market and down market patterns are always uh, desirable. A one or the other is the most dominant. For instance, during an up market, sell signals are repeatedly taken only to be respectively stopped. Uh, this is all goes back to the timeless statement saying the trend is your friend. Trading in the direction with the greatest probability for success is just common sense. This is not to say that you can develop a counter trending, uh, counter trend trading. So what this all means is, for instance, this is NCD CAD right now. So on the daily, and you can see clearly that it's a downtrend, right? It's been moving down. So now you know what the trend is. If it's a downtrend, you, you're discouraged basically to take buys because you could get stopped out very easily since it's moving downwards. Now, see, if you if you took a buy here, you'd be stopped out. If you have a SL, oh, you'd be in some deep DD. Take a buy here, you'd be in trouble. Take a buy here, you'd be in trouble. Um, so basically, if it's a downtrend, you want to sell. If it's an uptrend, you want to buy. But that doesn't mean you can't take counter trades, right? Because look, so if... You took a buy here, for instance, you could get out here with profits. And then when it comes coming, starts coming back down, you can, you know, just close that trade, but you can't stay in it for long. Um, you can just, you know, try to scalp it and stuff like that. Um, but, you know, if it's a downtrend, you don't want to be buying. Uh, normally for me, uh, if it's a downtrend, I'm looking for sales, sell opportunities. I'd look for it to move back up and then take a sell, move back up and then take a sell instead of looking to buy for it to go up uh, just because it's safer that way for, you know, uh, in a downtrend or, you know, uptrend would do just the opposite of that. Now here, it did bottom out here, moved up, right? You could have taken that counter trend, but it didn't last and it came back down. Until the trend changes, it's going to keep doing these reversals and coming back down. So until the trend trade is, changes, you want to stick with the trend and, you know, go with those trades. Uh, now, when it does break out of the trend line and then it moves up, closes, you know, and then starts moving up, now that you know the trend has changed, at that point, you can start doing buys and stuff. Um, so you could make money both ways. You can make money for it to go up, but not as much. Overall, this is a downtrend at the moment and it keeps moving down. So I wouldn't be looking for buy opportunities. So that's right there is your tip number eight. And until next time, I will see you guys in the next video.